Creativity is something that teachers value, of course, and of course we want a creative classroom. There's good news and there's bad news. There's good creativity and bad creativity. They hinge on the question of whose creativity is primary as the goal of teaching. And I have to say, what we most want is the student's creativity. I'll give an example. I saw a video today of one of the students of my method, a kindergartner, pronouncing words in Hebrew. He pronounced the word gomel, which means provides, and he said, oh, that looks like gamal. That sounds like gamal, I think he said. Well, this was wonderful creativity from his point of view in a skill that's, of course, very important, reading and pronouncing. It's not the most creative, but it has a certain creativity, and he showed the creative possibilities for him as a student. In fact, he showed a lot of soul. I don't mean S-O-U-L, I mean S-O-L-E, a self-organized learning environment. He was learning by himself, coming up with ideas for himself, and he was going to learn whatever he found out. The good creativity comes from the student if we nurture it in them. Now my example of bad creativity. As a linguist, if I were his teacher, I would be tempted to say, oh yes, gomel means provide because gamal is the animal that provides for people in the desert. But this would have been creativity from my point of view, creativity on grammar on a level that this kindergartner was in no position to understand and that would have interfered with his ability to pronounce and even to speak the language. So this is the bad creativity when the teacher is showing off some kind of uh, knowledge of his own or maybe reading poetry of his own or talking about people he knew in World War I or whatever. This is bad creativity. The good creativity is the creativity we develop in students with the method by teaching them to speak by learning words and how to put together the words in confident, continuous, creative and comprehensible speech. So when he says, Ani ochel pil, that is creative. I eat an elephant, that's creative. Of course, we have to nudge him so he's not saying Ani ochel pil all the time. He's got to eat other animals as well and become creative. Even if they're not kosher, they're just sentences. This is the kind of creati creativity that we are aiming at the creativity developed by students in the SOLE, the self-organized learning environment, if we create it for them within a curriculum that shows them the, gives them the bricks and shows them how to put them together.